Hello everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel where I'll, once a week I'll bring you a new video with a focus on abstract art. I hope you're well and staying safe. Before we get into the video, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Today I'm going to talk you through the creative process of making this piece using acrylics and oil pastels. I'm also going to discuss how important it is to experiment with your art, with different paints and tools, especially at the beginning. If you don't experiment, you're limiting yourself as an artist. I hope to inspire you to have a go with different methods in your artwork. You may be surprised at the outcome and learn something new. So let's begin. So I made this piece in April 2018 using Windsor & Newton acrylics and Sennelier oil pastels. I used, for the surface I use my A4 size Strathmore visual journal. I'll list all these in the description below. I used a base coat at the beginning and, and I used a mix of burnt sienna and titanium white acrylics. It's a really good idea to use a base coat. It takes away that bland white space and as a layer, which is the beauty of acrylic and gouache paints. For the texture, textured effects at the bottom, I used a mix of Windsor blue and titanium white. Applying the paint with a palette knife is a great tool for adding texture, which I've written more about in detail on my blog. So I'll link the blog post in the description. I used red, black, yellow and green oil pastels for the first time, I may say. <laughs> um, I, use, I use them to really to add that kind of overlapping color to these three shapes, these overlapping circles. Um, I found the pastels, which are, are similar to crayons in size, very smooth and creamy. And I even used my finger to blend in the colors to get that effect. Um, what, I wasn't really thinking too much about the outcome, but I just was playing, basically. Um, and I kind of ended up creating what I think looks like sun rays here. Uh, although that's not what I had in mind at the time. I really didn't know where the painting was going at first. It's a good idea to allow some room for play with, with no rules or without thinking about the outcome. And with the only constraints being the surface that you use, the materials and the colour scheme. That way you create a sense of freedom and have fun in the process. Sounds like a good uh, combination to me. You could call this a piece of abstract realism. Why do I say that? Well, because it, uh, it includes objects um, that we universally recognise, which is the planets, in my mind anyway. Um, and you could, you know, you could say this is a choppy sea down here. The only reason I say that is because when I was making this painting, it wasn't this way up. It was only afterwards that I decided to turn it round this way, as I guess it felt more balanced and harmonious to me. Although it doesn't impress or express upon anything real, in this piece it's the suggestive circle shapes and choppy sea that can be interpreted, which is why I really like painting in the style of abstract realism, as there's a visual that's open to interpretation by the artist, me, and the viewer, you. I do explain a bit more about abstract realism in, the, in this description. Um, I do think it's something that takes a while to get your mind around. It is different, it's different, it's almost like conflicts. You know, you've got abstract and realism in conflict, but but that's a, not a bad thing, you know, there's no rules. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering about the title of this piece, it's untitled, it's untitled at the moment, but I'm open for title ideas. What do you see in this piece? Do leave me a comment below. So yeah, title is up for grabs. And whoever does give me the best title, I will feature them in a future video and give them a shout out. So you've been warned. Um, thank you for watching. Please do follow me on Instagram, check out my website, all the links are listed below. Stay safe people and bye for now.